Hi guys, it is getting to be quite the beautiful morning here in the end times in paradise in let's say beautiful Monday morning and I do not have to go to an Optimus Club Christmas tree lot so trying to figure out what to do with myself here on Monday morning I don't even know where we are maybe December 17th 2018 so I guess I have to go be an adult today. Yes, Hambone Little Tail is being forced to be an adult. So what do I get? What do I get to do today? Among, among other things, deal with this fucking computer that has crashed. And uh, what? What? You know, I've only had this goddamn computer for six months. And my computer geek is just telling me, Hambone, you're, you're, you're fucked. I'm dealing with that. Then I got to go deal with this, be an adult, and, and go deal with this damn uh, car, this, this gas-sucking truck with the broken door lock so I don't lock Sancho Panza in the truck. When I, this happened in L.A., it took four days, four days to find a mechanic. Uh, a locksmith willing to uh, fix my lock. Uh, so I got the computer, I got the truck. Oh yes, yeah, so of course I have to go to the tax office to pay my uh, property taxes for my little hovel on the floodplain. You know, every single penny I earned out there at that goddamn Christmas tree lot. All of that hell I suffered. Don't even have enough money to pay my goddamn taxes. Uh, and I'm, oh yes, I have to buy Sancho Panza a new collar, a new ID tag, a new uh, <clears throat> halter. So anyway, I have a full day of being an adult. So when I was looking uh, this morning, through the mainstream media before heading out to be part of this goddamn mindless system called being an adult, I could not uh, ignore this story as our We Are So Fucked Doomer headline of the day. And if any, from USA Today, no less, here in Yahoo News, if anybody does not understand why this story why this story here uh, gets the nod for the We Are So Fucked headline of the day. I suggest maybe you read more, <clears throat> I don't know, Morris Berman, Chris Hedges, Noam Chomsky, and let them explain it to you. Why this story is a classic illustration of why we are so fucked. <clears throat> Take it away. <clears throat> USA Today, this high school taught adulting, adulting for a day. So they have now made the word adult a verb. Alright, so what is adulting? <clears throat> An adulting conference this week allowed Kentucky high school seniors the chance to learn how to change a tire, how to cook, and other basic life skills. Things they may not have learned at home or in classes. Yes. A series of photos posted by Bullet Central High School on social media shows students learning about personal finances, resumes, and other essential skills at the event, which has drawn attention from local and national news outlets. The school is located south of Louisville, Kentucky. Students could choose to attend three workshops out of 11 options, the school says. Yes, 
This is organizer Christy Harden, quote, I saw a Facebook post that parents passed around saying they needed a class in high school on taxes and cooking. Those skills are taught at school, she said, but the event gave students a chance to fill in gaps in their knowledge. Changing a tire, credit cards, and financing were among the topics covered at the conference. Some people, some young people, have left home and graduated school without having those gaps filled, according to a report this week from CBS New York, which documented a trend of millennials seeking out classes to learn basic life skills. While attending a cooking class, 29-year-old Elena Tumorus, 29 years old, you know, uh, I, I knew people in Kentucky took a little while to get through high school, but you know, when you're 29 years old and taking a basic cooking class in high school in Kentucky, you might be a redneck, as uh, Jeff Foxworthy would say, if you are a 29-year-old Kentucky high schooler learning how to cook, you could be a redneck. The 29-year-old said she is struggling with, quote, simple things. Quote, I was so used to when living at home, my mom always cooking for me. Hmm, do you think so, uh, Elena? <clears throat> oh, here's Portland, Maine. We have some tribes members living in Portland, Maine. An adulting school. I guess there's a whole adulting school in Portland, Maine aims to use a new online format to teach millennials skills like conflict resolution, sewing, and appreciation for art. Students' financial literacy has been of particular concern to experts. In February, financial education in schools has stagnated in the U.S. with only 17 states requiring students to take classes in personal finance, a number that hasn't risen in years. This is Jan Nan Morrison from the Council for Economic Education, quote, the majority of U.S. states are failing our students by declining to offer these fundamental courses which are critical to their financial stability and security later in life. Oh, uh, yes. Uh. <laughs> oh, God. I anyway, guys, uh, I've, uh, I, I, I could go on with this article. I, I would really, uh, like to, uh, propose a Doomer's Life Skills Adulting class for today's high schoolers. I, you know, what, what would we have here? Maybe mining landfills? Uh, would be a good basic life skills course for today's high schoolers. There is always how to boil a rat, uh, how, how to skin a rat and boil a rat, uh, conflict resolution. It, yes, uh, conflict resolution in the zombie apocalypse. How do you resolve the conflicts with your neighbor coming at you 
with an AK-47 for your last can of beans. We can we can take care of the credit card education, right? Any any uh, high schoolers listening to this rant right now, tear up your fucking credit card. I tore up my credit cards ten years ago. I have no credit here. Yes. Uh, and then, of course, all the old farts uh, weighing in on the on the uh, comment section, uh, having a laugh about the absolute helplessness of of today's crop of teenagers. You, you know, here in the uh, the nanny state. I think uh, someone we don't talk about on this channel. I remember uh, this guy. Uh, this guy claiming to Sandy Shellis that he invented the term the nanny state. <laughs> oh, God. But don't get me going on that guy. Uh, Sancho. But we have a squirrely alert like that. There's that squirrely. You better get that squirrely. Like that. You better get that squirrely. You better go get that squirrely. Oh God, we have a squirrely alert. Gotta go. Yes. Are you are you ready to go get that squirrely?